Jeremy, I have seen your work and all of our readers and viewers have seen your work so many times. Um, but tell us a little bit, give us a little uh, backstory on how you got started and what some of your first projects were as a special effects guru. Well, um, I, it all started uh, probably back in 1982 when I noticed uh, the Tin Man was my first kind of introduction to makeup. I was like, what am I looking at? This guy is silver, but you, you know, you're not seeing the blending. And so I was really amazed and got the bug for uh, effects and makeup after that. Obviously, Walking Dead has been a great experience. Um, I never, if somebody told me I would get an Emmy or anyone would get an Emmy for gore zombie makeup, <laughs> I would say you're crazy. So that was a, you know, Walking Dead was such a phenomenon. Um, I, I worked on, I, I tell people I'm so old, I worked on the Kirk Star Treks. Um, <laughs> and I also did the Borg um, suits for uh, the Next Generation movie, First Contact. Some people may not realize, you know, an uh, Emmy Award winning makeup artist and you're hobnobbing with, you know, Academy Award winning directors and you've on the, you know, a number one television show, but you're also doing some low budget or lower budget independent films and you're making your own movies now. So can you talk a little bit about that transition? It's great. Um, I, I am so happy and pleased um, with all of it, even though it's 10 times more pressure. <laughs> Set takes on a whole new meaning when, you know, it's your money that is being wasted versus, you know, everyone else's. We made those films with Diablo and from those experiences and the, and the knowledge we, I, I gained and my partner gained, we started our own company called Long Division Entertainment where we'll be producing our own stuff. Right, what are some of the creatures that are in these movies? And what, uh, like, can you talk a little bit about that? I know they're not out yet, right, the, the films, but- They're not you... out, but the basic, um, basic kind of, there's no real creatures in these yet. Um, there is a madman in the desert. Oh, uh, where does he hide? <laughs> he, he is like an ex-Vietnam guy, he's a sniper. Oh. Um, and we found this really great location. We shot it all within this ranch, kind of right up the 14th. Um, and that one's Carnage Park, and so he wears this kind of makeshift gas mask that he created himself out of various parts, and he's, you know, he's a psychopath, so... Really? Uh, <laughs> I never would have guessed. <laughs> if, if you, yeah, if you were unfortunate enough to wind up in his world, he's great, he's kind of convinced himself that he's doing God's work, mm -hmm. so if you're there, you're bad. Jeremy is going to show me how to get my inner horror aggressor uh, mojo out with this arm that he has prepared, and I understand it's full of blood and gore. Sure. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. One, two. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> I, I always thought it would be fun to teach, and, and I did teach a, a class at USC when we were talking about low-budget filmmaking. Um, and that is really awesome. I loved teaching. I love when somebody says, you know, I saw that and it made me want to draw that. Or like my kid did that zombie when he was three. It's like one of my favorite paintings uh, over there. I'm going to frame it. You know what? When you do something you love, it keeps you young. I mean, I'm not young, but <laughs> I, I, you know, I've always said I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a kid till I'm 80. Thank you, Jeremy. Really appreciate Thank you, you very chatting much. with us.